In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export the files you need in order to get a board built at JLC PCB. Just to be clear, I am not sponsored in any way or paid in any way by JLC PCB. They're just a manufacturer I have used in the past and had very good results with. In case you wonder how exactly I know all this stuff, it's because I went to their site and went through their technical support. I'm actually going to be following their instructions in my video. If you'd rather do this with their instructions, I'll include a link at the bottom of this video in the description. Now that we have our design finished, the first thing I want to do is go and check for any violations of the rules. In the Home tab, I'm going to run the design rule check. And we can see that there are no warnings. There are no errors, so there's no problems here. I'm meeting all the requirements I had. My circuit over here is extremely simple, so I didn't expect to have any problems. But if you do have issues, you should just check on them. Sometimes they're not really that big of a deal. Like, for example, you may have a clearance constraint. That is not really an issue for the design of your board, but it's best to set up your rules so that they meet your manufacturer's requirements, and that way when you run your check, you know that your manufacturer can build your board. I'm just going to close this out. And now in order to export the correct files, we're going to need our Gerbers and our NC drill file. In order to export the correct files, I'm going to come over here to the name of my project, which is tutorial one, right click here and choose generate outputs. That brings up the generate output files dialog here. First, we want to click on Configure for Gerber files. These are usually the same for all manufacturers, but you might want to double check if you're going through a different board house to make sure that you're using the right units and format. Going over to the Layers tab, we need to make sure that we select all the layers that we actually built things in and that we need to send to the manufacturer. For my two layer board, that's going to be the top overlay, top paste, top solder, top layer, bottom layer, bottom solder, bottom paste, and bottom overlay. We also want to have the board outline here. If you have more layers to your board, for example, you have a four layer board or a six layer board, then you're going to want to make sure to include the appropriate layers for those boards. One thing to mention is that you don't want to select a keep out layer here. The JLC PCB system looks for the GKO file and can grab it as an outline instead of as a keep out layer. They have a mention that if you want to cut out a section of your board, what you can do is in the outline layer, you can put a shape and that will identify a section of the board to be cut out. On the drill drawing tab, we need to plot all used drill pairs for both of these. There's nothing to do on the apertures tab. And on the advanced tab, the only changes that I saw were to reference the absolute origin and at the bottom, uncheck generate DRC rules export and check use polygons for octagonal pads. After you've set up all this, you can just click OK. Next, we're going to configure the NC drills files. This time we're going to change the format. We're going to use inches for units and two to four for format. We want to suppress leading zeros and reference to absolute origin. And in the other section, we want to check the first three, optimize change location commands, generate separate NC drill files and use drilled slot commands. There's a note that says definitely don't check the generate EIA binary drill file. Then we just click OK here. To generate the files, we're just going to check these two boxes and then click on Generate at the bottom. On my system, this took a little while and I don't have a half bad computer. I'm not sure if this is related to communicating with the server or if just the program got hung up a little bit. Mine says I need to save my changes before I can do this, so I'm going to go ahead and save and commit the changes. It says, you know, which files are going to be changed. Hit OK. That's fine. You can then click on the release button that will save the files to the cloud. 
You can make a release note. Whatever you want to say in there is fine. Now that my project has been successfully released, I can open up the project in a web browser. Now, I found that when clicking on full release, I tend to get an error. I'm not sure why, but you can come down here to the fab tutorial. These are the Gerber files and the NC drill files, and you can just click the download button next to that and you will get the files. They're saved here and I can show you in the zip file. Here are the Gerbers and here are the drill files. And that is the zip file that you're going to want to upload directly to JLC PCB site. So let me go over there real quick. Now without logging into their site, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my Gerber files here. I just drag and drop that file right into the website. As long as you're using a modern browser, shouldn't be any issue. You can see that it immediately detects the layers and shows me what my board should look like. And I'm not actually gonna go through the shipping and everything, but uh, typically when I order these, I just order the slowest shipping method because it doesn't really matter to me how fast I get these boards. I'm fairly certain they're built in China and it takes about a week usually for them to get into the fab, get done processing and building, and then it takes around a month for them to get to me. But for $10 and five copies of the board, I definitely can't complain. This is a fantastic service. I do wish that there was one like this in the US that was lower cost. Unfortunately, all the ones I know here are much, much more expensive, and a lot of them still send your board out to get built in China, so you still have to wait a month. So. This is what I would recommend doing for anyone who is budget minded and wants to get a nice quality board. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you have a topic you'd like me to cover, please put it down in the comments.